Alright guys, I just want to make a quick video showing how the trade-ins worked for Don't Starve Together. Um, the skin thing is kind of new to me, so I wasn't really sure about it too much. So I did this for science. Um, I just went on the market and bought 12 commons, which was pretty cheap. Just to see how it worked. And It looks like when you do commons, you get classy. You get one classy item for 12 commons. And I got a shirt, which is... Alright, I guess. Ain't the greatest looking shirt. But then, you could do 12 classies for one spiffy item. So once again, I do that. And it's spinning up. And I get a backpack. Um, kind of a plain old looking backpack. But I was like, hey. What would I get for 12 spiffy items? So then I bought 12 more. Well, 12 spiffy items, not 12 more. Then I was like, BAM! And from that you get one distinguished item. Which, I got a jacket. I think it's pretty badass looking. Like, that's one I would go for, or want. Then I was like, DAMN! What can I get for 12 distinguished items? So then once again, I went and bought... 12 distinguished items, which are kind of pricey. A couple bucks, like a buck each. I went for the cheapest one. Um, and I got 12 of these ones, and then I realized I shit the bed. Because you can't... You can't trade in distinguished items. So... Damn. But I, th I thought that was kind of shitty, because, like... They should at least let you trade in distinguished for... An elegant item. I mean, come on. I can see why you can't trade in elegant items. I think that's the highest it goes. But <sighs> just to save people some money, in case they th assume that too, well, you can't. All right. Hope this video helped you guys out and showed everyone how the system worked. And thanks for watching. Good chat. Yeah. Starting up the chainsaw, dog. Oh shit. Fuck, I can't up the hill, dude! God damn, they're all in my ass. I'm chasing on a guy! Wow, it's wrecking him! He's running! He's dead. I oh, know he's not. He's dead now. 